India's Chandrayaan-3 mission is a complete success and has exceeded expectations. We last heard from Chandrayaan-3 on September 2nd. Since then, the lander and rover are in sleep mode. Their reawakening is expected around 22nd September. That's Friday. In this report, Vion's senior correspondent Siddharth MP tells us about the possible reawakening of Chandrayaan-3 and the parameters required for it. Take a look. We are nearly at zero velocity vertical. India's Chandrayaan-3 made history on August 23rd by performing a lunar soft landing near the moon's unexplored South Pole. This feat made India the first nation to land and perform in situ experiments near the lunar South Pole, which many nations are looking to explore. As planned, Chandrayaan-3 successfully performed numerous tasks, deployed the ramp and rover, traversed the lunar surface using the rover, captured images of the lunar south pole, performed temperature and seismic activity studies, analyzed the elemental composition of lunar soil and even surprised us with a hop test. The lunar landing of Chandrayaan-3 had been planned for August 23rd for a very specific reason. August 23rd marked the start of the lunar day. Being a completely solar-powered science mission, Chandrayaan-3 works on the moon by charging its batteries by harnessing the sun's energy. A lunar day is equal to 14 days on Earth. Therefore, by September 2nd, as the lunar night was approaching, ISRO fully charged the batteries of the lander and rover and carefully put the duo into sleep mode. Lunar days and nights are very brutal and unforgiving. The lunar day temperatures touch 130 degrees Celsius, that's more than twice as hot as the hottest temperature on Earth. The lunar night can get as cold as minus 130 to minus 250 degrees Celsius, almost four times the coldest temperature on Earth. The electronics, the circuits, the batteries, sensors and the hardware of Chandrayaan-3 would have to endure this temperature for one lunar night or 14 Earth days. This mission is designed for a single uh, one lunar day, which is 14 days uh, mission. So the systems are likely to work longer, but because we will not have power for next 14 days, the mission is unlikely to uh, survive beyond this because battery cannot support very long. To help survive the lunar night, Russia had equipped its Luna 25 lander with a radio isotope thermoelectric generator that could keep the lander warm during the night. ISRO doesn't possess this technology yet. Therefore, ISRO will have to wait for the lunar day to progress and then hope to hear from Chandrayaan-3. By now, the sun would have risen over the lunar south pole near where India's Chandrayaan-3 craft had soft landed almost four weeks ago. But what we are actually waiting for is not the sunrise. After the sun rises in a few hours, the sun will be at an appropriate angle. And from that angle, the Chandrayaan-3 lander and rover will be able to harness the sun's power, charge its batteries and warm itself up. And in a few hours from then, the Indian Space Agency ISRO will be able to make communications with Chandrayaan-3's Vikram lander and Pragyan rover. Based on the communications established, ISRO will be able to determine if Chandrayaan-3 gets a life extension of two more weeks or one lunar day more or whether Chandrayaan-3 will remain for eternity India's ambassador on the moon. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.